consequences. Boris Johnson and the Who is the real Boris Johnson? We must come out. There have been so many incarnations. I remember what it was like uh, during the trouble. Now he seeks another. Okay, so he is a proven crowd puller, a genuine celebrity. I'm thrilled and excited to be doing this. But many of his colleagues over the years have complained his showmanship is too often a distraction. Sorry, I want to make one final point. His brand of bumbling improv too often becomes farcical. His story is well known. We'll occupy the benches on my right. Eton, Oxford, members voting against the journalism into politics. You're just here to upstage the Prime Minister, aren't you? Journalists dream. We haven't had a story all week. You've got to help us. Say something. Say something ill-considered. <laughs> no? I'm speaking around unvarnished common sense. As Mayor of London, he attempted to foster a more serious image, but it never lasted long. The public didn't seem to mind until they did. In 2016, he became the focus of frustrated Remainer anger. A large part of the country now seems convinced his whole persona is the calculated act of a ruthless careerist who'll say and do anything. Many of them are in his own party. A stint as foreign secretary that even some supporters admit was unimpressive didn't help. The question is now, can he reinvent himself once more? The man who succeeded Boris Johnson as Foreign Secretary... Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. ...is everything his predecessor is not. No one would call Jeremy Hunt flamboyant or a showman. ...in grave peril. He catches the eye only by accident. Like the time, he seemed to forget to whom he was married. Also, um, my wife is Japanese. My wife is Chinese, sorry. That's a terrible <laughs> thing to me. The son of an admiral, public school in Surrey, and Oxford University, where he developed a passion for politics without any of his contemporaries recalling any passion for any particular cause. He entered Parliament in 2005, having already made a fortune in business. He started a firm listing educational courses online. I'm going to be making a state later this afternoon. He rose quickly, culture secretary in David Cameron's first cabinet, although a scandal over the B-Sky B takeover by the Murdochs almost cost him his job. Hello, I'm Jeremy. He became Britain's longest-serving health secretary only by weathering storms over junior doctors' new contracts and hospital closures. His bosses have always trusted him to field tough questions without slipping up. Some suggest he's unexciting. But up against Boris Johnson, there are worse adjectives to have. 